Hey everybody, it's your old friends at Monday Madness, and we are playing a very special Pokemon game called Pokemon Brown. Uh, don't feel too disheartened if you've never heard of it, because this is not an official Pokemon game. Isn't that right, Mookie? Yes, it's me. This is a hack of the original two games, Pokemon Red and Blue, which you probably remember from when you were a child. Or unless you're still a child and you're watching this now, which is kind of discontinuous to be honest you don't, don't watch our stuff we're not, yeah. <laughs> we're not good people um but yeah this is a uh, uh, specifically pokemon red this has been hacked from uh it works on an uh basically an iso i think it is i can't remember the name of the the actual patch file for it ips, IPS that's what yes, it is correct. and uh and essentially the way it works is you download the ips you download the application to uh to graft the ips onto the game and voila you have pokemon brown so this is made by, uh, as you can see, the name underneath there, uh, whatever that is, and Cool by Man, who uh, has also done a few other uh, Pokemon hacks, including Pokemon Prism, which is the game to follow up on this. But um, yeah, I think we should uh, continue on, Mookie. You're playing this now, so uh, here's your uh, controls here. Right, now. So as you can see, there's some Pokemon that weren't in the original. Indeed, yeah. So uh, we click New Game there, if that's all right. That was just my test one there. Uh, so you can see actually there are a few there are some changes to this uh, for instance we have a new land called Rijon so we're not in Kanto or Johto this time this is a completely original land original continent uh, new professor as well my name is Timothy but you can call me Tim yes <laughs> yes we, we will take very much advantage of that Mr. Professor Tim oh, I am the island's Pokemon tutor oh he's trying to be different oh he's not a professor he's no a he's a tutor sorry I'm trying to be different but uh, this is, and again, this is what we're proving. Uh, this is a slightly different Pokedex to what you'd be used to. So uh, I'll be intrigued to see what team you come out with uh, at the end of this. And yeah, just generally going through the motions here of it. Uh, just for the record as well, this is on an emulator because this is pretty much how it was intended. And we are playing this at a little bit of a uh, faster speed to get through this. Hence why we are... Um, uh, not recording any game sound for this because I don't think dubstep constant dubstep remixes of all the Pokemon music is exactly what uh, makes a good uh, video I don't know about you no uh, <laughs> in our short test it was it's something you wouldn't really remember from the original games years ago but mm. you do walk very slowly and I don't think any of our viewers want to see us fight you do the Zubat number <laughs> 1002. <laughs> I don't think so. Nor are we going to count the Zubats and Geodudes we come across. That's a, that'd be highly inconvenient. Hey, but after yeah. the amount I see in Pokemon Go, I don't want to see <laughs> any in this game. <laughs> uh, take a drink for every time you mention Pokemon Go. No. I, I'm I, already, I, already, I already took my drink. That. You do the same. <laughs> so, I see you've, uh, you've called yourself Madness for obvious reasons. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, let's see what we do. Um... So, the thing about these kind of ROM hacks I always find interesting is that they always try and change up the, the formula. Because we all know, Pokemon is a formula game. You know, it's, it's a paint-by-numbers uh, system by, by all means. So, uh, they have... The one thing about this game is it does try and do things differently on pretty much all counts. So, obviously, we have a new land. We have a new Pokedex. Uh, not a new character, although he does seem to have a, a, a new jacket. That's about it. Yeah. <laughs> I want to see if they... They've kept it in. Yes. Yay! Excellent. Yeah, it's a small little thing. This will help out if I assume if there is some sort of rival fight, um, like in the other Pokemon mm. games. Oh, it's I'm just sure a is. small little handy item that will pretty much guarantee you winning. Absolutely. I mean, oh, you, have, you still have a mother in this as well, so that's a start. Your dad is nowhere to be found, but uh, so there you go. Go south and look for the. Yes. So this Wait, is your. Wasn't. Isn't he always beside the house? Not this time, I'm afraid. Uh, this is your uh, starting off city called Seashore City. Uh, ah, look. I'm running with him by holding B. Um, so you have running shoes as well. So, uh, yeah. There you go. Okay, so. So you do have. Uh, this is an updated version of the ROM where. Uh, you do have double running speeds, so that's that's quite handy. It's it's kind of hard to control with the It is, it is, speed. yeah. I don't think it's ultimately necessary for this. <laughs> Tetweet. That's the... Uh, I can confirm that's a Spiro. My son's leaving today like you are. He always calls himself Mura. 
Mm. How did you know I was leaving? That's a good question. If you see on the back wall there, actually, you'll see the map for uh, oh, yeah. this new town, Rijon. So as you can see, we are at, we are starting off at Seashore City. And if you uh, point down the way, then you should be able to see. Um, I think you're going the opposite way, actually, for some reason. Let's see. We'll get there eventually. Oh. Yeah, just work with us on this journey. So here you go. So if, Town. <laughs> great name for it, city. Let's say, Mr. Mayor, um, I'm thinking of a, of, a, of a name for this town. Well, there's a lot of gravel around. I think the <laughs> cave beside it, Merson Cave, has a better name. Than the actual it was, that was town. named after Mr. Merson, who uh, discovered the cave. <laughs> <laughs> okay. We still have to go south, but let's see if we can... No, like I said, we are literally a seashore oh. city. You should never be afraid to attempt to accomplish your dreams. Yeah, you can also see that a lot of the characters and dialogue is still ripped from the original game. So you'll still see people that are from the original game, but they've just been yeah. placed different areas. Okay. And uh, if you're wondering what's up in that um, up in that tree, it's actually a Pokemon gym, which is oh. different. You don't have you don't that usually is... have a gym in a starting city, but of no. course we can't get there yet. Cool. I'm going to be one as well. Okay. Happy days. But he's obviously not ready. Well, whilst we sure. are. Okay. So, so we're heading south down to meet the professor. Uh, we can't get there yet, obviously, because um, of the, the I trees. Think he's... Okay, I'm going to try and dodge out of his eyesight. You cannot battle yet. You don't have any Pokemon. <laughs> yeah, that's not... what I'm afraid of. That it'll no, just kill me. This road is pretty straightforward. You can never get lost on this road. Well, like I say, unless you cut into the bushes yeah. there. <laughs> apart, from that, apart from that, it's pretty straightforward. Okay, Gravel Town. Okay, we're on the right track. Yes, okay, indeed. Right. The Gravel Town Mart is giving out free samples today, so go ahead and take a free potion. There you go. Okay. So again, he's the same guy that was there in Palatel. So various things that are quite familiar to oh, it. This is. God, what do I think of a professor? Yeah. I mean, like you know, normally they just live like right beside you, or at least in the same town. Yeah. But no, this guy is just like, if you were like small enough to <laughs> go through the trees that needed cuss yeah you could have died well uh, hey if you want a free pokemon you have to work for it in region all right you don't you don't there's no freebies like in kanto and all the other towns around all right that's not how this shit works or i'll be patient so yes we mentioned we uh we were told about this more chap earlier on so this is uh i guess you're right this is our rival but the problem is though we don't get to name our rival something like Ass Clown or something. Oh damn it! Yeah, it's a pity. He's an original character in this game now. Go and take one madness. Okay. Mm. So uh, let's see what our starters are like. The first choice is Charmander. Yes, and you can see the sprites are updated from the ones that are initially in the the red and blue. Yeah, I think this one was from the yellow actually. That's right. Yeah. Um, win it race. Okay. Hmm. So we'll just Go show around. everybody. Oh, there's one with Squirtle. And our third choice is Bulbasaur. Indeed. So it's a, it is the Kanto starters from in this. Oh, I would have been, I've been surprised. I thought they would have changed the starters up a little bit. Mm. Oh, we get to choose a bin as well. <laughs> we, no? we get to okay, choose. No. There's a Grimer hiding in the bin. We can pick him. So, he's, a, he's the fourth option. Charmander. So, so what are you feeling here? Squirtle, Bulbasaur. Like, I remember my, my very first play of any Pokemon game mm. all those years ago with Bulbasaur and I don't like Charmander purely because everyone loves Charizard oh you just want to be different don't you I, I want to be kind of hipster here <laughs> so I'll go for Bulbasaur interesting alright going back to your roots as it were <laughs> are you going to give him a nickname oh god I, I don't <laughs> the old sprites are just like what? yeah the, the old sprites are still there so, right. Um, are you gonna give them a name, or are you gonna give leave them plain? I'll leave them plain. Okay, Save fair enough. Time. And I wonder which one Mira's gonna take. Oh, he, of the, course, the better one. Yes. At least one, some as <laughs> the more things change, the more they stay the same in Pokemon. Good luck. Good luck in what? Yeah, just generally good luck. Okay. Yeah. I made the you, best. You don't choice. have to take umbrage for everyone that says good luck to you, man. You know they're just trying to be nice. Wait, madness. What? Let's check out our Pokemon. Oh my god. I'll probably beat you. Well, this is totally unprecedented. This has never happened before in the history of Pokemon. No. <laughs> this is new. Okay. So you can see also the back sprites are different yeah. uh, in this game as well. Which it makes it look, look so much cleaner. It really does look yeah. nice. 
Okay, I'm just going to go for the easy thing here. Yes. It's a spam tackle. Now, there's something I'd like to point out, by the way, and uh, mm. I think I can point it out at this stage. If you click into fight there and look at Grell, you'll notice there's a sound type in this game. There are new types in this game, and you've discovered one of the new ones. Sound. Ugh. I shall just let that let you simmer on that for the moment uh, as you continue I, on. I am not looking forward to this. Um, <laughs> Ooh, you briefly boy, mentioned yes. there are three new types, so we have two more to find. Yes, there. I believe there's there's actually four new four. types. Okay. Yes. Um. Again, they're not prevalent types in this game. Uh, they're very much like kind of sub sub types. But some um some Pokemon do change their types in this game, and I'll be uh I'll inform you of them when you do see them. But uh, it was, in a sense, I get the feeling uh, it, it was done basically to prove you can put types in this game. You know, because obviously uh, one of the main things for hacking, I think, is hex editors where you go in and change the actual, like, game data. And one of those things is, like, being able to change the mechanics of the game. And such mechanics are the types. So as you can see there, we do have a sound type. Um, do we have sound type Pokemon, though? Uh, we'll have to wait and see. Oh, I am not really <laughs> looking forward to this. Yes, because you'll have to learn. Uh, you'll have to learn the, the weaknesses and strengths of each of these new types as well, which I'm okay. sure you're looking forward to. So we we just beat our rival Mira, and we got yep, we uh, a couple hundred dollars, I guess. Yen, I would say. Yen. Okay. I think I think it's this. more accurate to be yen. No. So where do we go next, Mooks? Where do we go next? Again, thinking back of how the original uh, Pokemon War plays. And okay, there is no door to that building. Yeah, this, they've don't. been trapped there for twenty years. It's actually quite sad. The port builders. I feel, I feel guy. I feel people from bad for the guys in the tenements just there in the bottom right. They yeah. can't get out. They can't get in or out. They're even fenced in. Look. <laughs> oh, oh, oh no, we can go in. We can go. In. It's a really big town. Oh, no, no, the, no. You're right. They, they are sort of. They are all trapped inside. That's sad. And there's one guy in a, just like a. <laughs> and uh, the one boy man made this high. That's a shameless plug, all right. And the first fourth wall break of the of the game. Here we go. Yo, dude. It's <laughs> <laughs> immediately. <laughs> okay, so instead of like you know, okay, so Professor Oak obviously takes himself seriously. You know, you get getting an official package from him. This time you have to pick up some fuck's food. It, it, it's more like what the hell didn't the shop clerk <laughs> just fucking deliver it himself? Can you not see? He can't move. Look at him. He, he's trapped in there. Yeah, but can't you just hop up over the counter? No. They haven't okay. developed that technology yet. Maybe in Generation 7 Pokemon they can, but not not, not, in this, not in this day and age. Okay. Let's deliver the pizza before it gets cold. Quite true. <laughs> That's a mechanic that was introduced in this game as well. <laughs> it's like the ob opposite pizza's of... Pizza's a new type, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's an opposite to the uh, egg-hatching uh, uh, mechanic. He was, oh, so, oh, he was too busy to pick it up. Yeah. And more is coming. Needs the request. Mm. I can totally see where this is going. Can you? Because again, this has never happened in the realm of Pokemon before. Right, so. Ooh, Pokedex. Indeed. I wouldn't give technology that expensive to two ten year olds, but. Eh. I digress. To be fair, this guy. we This guy made us, like, walk from. A, I'm guessing, like, the, the equivalent of a mile or two from a town and made him pick up his pizza so I think his decision making is fairly awry as it is okay so Mira was just an ass like, yet again there yeah Mira is like a is somewhat of an original character but nothing happens with him huh. it's very odd well he just kind of dropped yeah. a tidbit of information saying you know, he's going to spend all of his money on Pokeballs so I assume this is the this, only way for us to get them in the game? Yes, quite right. Yeah, you're not you're not giving yeah. any extras on this one. So you know, there there there's been a couple of Pokemon games where you've gotten a couple of freebies at the start. Yes, to help you along. Um, oh, let's go for ten. Interesting. And you're gonna pick up some uh, healing items as well. Stock yourself up. Yeah. Be safe. Just to get one of each. Hopefully, mm -hmm. we won't get screwed too I badly. Don't, I don't think you got any potions there, by the way. Well, oh, I got the two free ones, and I didn't use any in that fight. Ah, very good. So, I forgot about we that. We are now into Merson Cave. Yes. Yeah, so this is our. This is technically our route one. Uh, so this is again one of the, I guess unique things about this is we don't start off with a grassland. We start off with caves. So yeah. uh, any uh, any guesses for what our first Pokemon might be? 
I don't, I don't want to jinx, jinx myself. <laughs> no, it's not jinx. <laughs> okay, that was a very short dungeon. No, uh, what happened there was uh, there's a guy blocking the way, and he you uh, can't uh, oh. move him unless you have a Pokedex. So, oh, Geo did it first off. Yeah. Okay. And we have no real means to beat him. No, this is going to be very, very Oh, yes. Grand. let's. I'm barking up a long haul here, guys. I don't know about you. You know, there is another way of uh, sorting that out. There is. But you have Isn't to damage it? it first. No, let's test my luck. Yes. Very nice. So, we got our first Pokemon. Geo did. He's a I'm... rock. There's no, nothing... Yeah, he's, he, he is the rock. Well, I mean, technically they are boulders, so, I mean... Yeah. They're just clumsy people. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, one thing I'll actually say to you now. Obviously, this game is, is intended as a rock hack. Uh, yes. And it's intended for people playing this on an emulator. So, you might be thinking, well, hang on, there's a lot of, like, Pokemon that are only evolved by trade only. But, that is where we, uh, we realise that there is actually an item that uh, is equivalent of trading called ah. a trade stone and you can use that to uh, fully evolve any Pokemon that are something like Graveler yeah, that so, is a very nice update actually it is quite convenient considering that like you know it saves you from not fucking being stuck with a Kadabra or a Machoke you can actually evolve it to its final form and use it as that I think we've just discovered Junkster Joey <laughs> <laughs> Junkster Joey? Youngster Joey. <laughs> I like to call him Youngster Joey considering he's hiding in the cave. Yeah. <laughs> yeah let's just keep it like that. Yeah. Youngster Joey. He's like the uh, he's like the Hugo to Bart. <sighs> Youngster Joey's out in the in the open and having a wonderful time while uh Youngster Joey hides in the cave and is angry at people. Okay, I'm gonna use Luch Seat here and I'm gonna give the Mr Rock a shot at taking something down. Interesting. So you can see a lot of the sprites are still uh, used from a... Uh, this one's actually from gold, I think. The back of... I think the back sprites are from yeah, that, gold. It's a really sort of minor but still impressive update. I, yeah. I really like because... It adds a lot to it, I thought. It adds a lot to it. And if yourself and viewers mm. recall that a lot of the gem one sprites just... To be honest, look goddamn. They look awful. terrible, yeah, and there were, a lot of them had like obvious mistakes on it. Like yeah, Radata in particular for me st stood stood out as just like a that's supposed to be a mouse. <laughs> Are you sure? Because uh, it it doesn't look like a mouse. Or was the uh, the one for coughing was actually like technically upside down, going by like the source material. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> that's another one. I'm sure there's others, but I can't recall uh, them at this stage. Some just looked like seriously fucking ugly as well. But uh, you you seem to be hacking away at the zoo bad anyway. Yeah, I mean, you do it's only level four. Yeah, we gotta forgive him. Indeed. Okay. I think you can take his Rattata. Yeah. <laughs> Good luck getting rid of that defense, mate. But uh, yeah, this is so. How are you feeling it so far? I mean, we obviously haven't really got stuck into it yet. It's really weird. Um. It's really just, just having, ha having something like a Geodude as something you could get straight off the bat. Yes, it is. It is like going out there to be different. Oh, Ooh, wow. A Vulpix. That's... Hello, Sailor. So, Vulpix is a fire type unless it changes its type in this game. I, I'm not saying anything. I'll have to, uh, you'll have to check that for yourself if you, uh, if you want it. I am. I'm going to catch it anyway. Yes. If it. Oh, Embers. Okay. Well, they have a fire type straight away, so that's a fire type attack straight away, so that's good. Ooh, oh, it is oh. put up a fight, but might want to swap out maybe. Yeah, and just uh, at least then you have a few extra shots at it. But yeah, like I mean, this is a uh, this is different as well, considering that we don't really get like uh, oh proper that types. Close. That's a good critical hit, and that'll serve that properly. Nice. So we have a Vulpix as well. So we've, we've started, like, our first two Pokemon we've effectively caught. <laughs> so yeah, that's, like... <laughs> that's pretty good, starting off. We, we're starting to build a Julium team here. <laughs> Straight away, we haven't even started. So oh, It's just handing us... Mm. Ooh, an escape rope. Indeed. Uh, incidentally, if you do need to heal, you can go back to uh, Seashore Town and uh, have a rest at your house. Oh, spoilers. Yeah. No, uh, you probably need to at some stage, because this is a... 
This is this is a it's a, it's a tough uh, L first route, so I'm just helping you out here. What, like, is it like a really long cave. It is a very long cave, and it's in kind of stages as well. So, okay, ooh, no, you're it, you're not gonna last, so swap out. I'm a leech seed. So <laughs> it's the only thing the, keeping me alive at this point. <laughs> it actually is. It's gonna keep you at six HP unless you, it's a critical hit involved. Okay, I kind of like how they just handed us the escape rope the <laughs> minutes we ran into trouble. Yeah, that's that was pretty nice of it. So okay, uh, let's. This is I, I, this is a much more attritional start to this game than I was expecting, but uh, I suppose that's the way it goes when you're. Uh, it's one of the side effects, I suppose, to starting off with a fucking cave, I guess. You're starting off with, like, a Zubat or a Geodude. Those are, the, like, hypothetically, those are the first two things you can catch. And they're very, like, attritional Pokemon anyway. Like, imagine your first Pokemon being Zubat and just starting with that, you know? Like, your only move is Leech Life. Well, I actually used a hacking tool once to mm. put in Pokemon Gold and Silver. Yes. Um... To, to have my starter be Zubat and it was a challenge a uh, friend from online mm. sort of posited to me and I'll I'll tell you it, it wasn't easy it wasn't easy at all struggle which you know the you know the move that like definitely yeah. every Pokemon has once they've run out of PP yeah um, which does recoil damage as well mm. um, that was used a lot and I can imagine yeah considering like the Rev 1 is like a flying type yeah, and so it's super weak to it already. Yeah, it would it wouldn't do any damage at all. Yeah. So it was really only till like I think it was like thirteen or fifteen he yeah. learns bite, and then it got much easier. And yes. Then, but I remember the steel type gym in particular was just a pain, Ooh. and yeah, I, I kind of cheated because it was supposed to be only a one Pokemon run. Yeah. Speaking of which, there's a Zubat now. Okay. Yeah. But, so I can imagine that being sucking so much because the one thing about Gen two is they had fuck all fire types. Like they had a Growlithe, and that's not even like a. I don't know, when I what I mean by a full fire type is like he doesn't have much fire type moves as such. Yeah, but that know? was a pr that was actually a problem with. Okay, yeah, up until Gen Gen two, maybe Gen three to mm. a certain extent. Like I remember Rhydon in the first set of games. Yeah. Just I don't think he learned any rock type move at all. You know, he's, yeah, he's, ground, th he's ground rock. Like, okay, they never expected the series to explode as much, but it's going to like, what? Yeah. You got to catch a Zuba? I'm going to give it a shot. Okay, interesting. Damn it, I was kind of hoping he'd break out and then i just <laughs> make him faint. Yeah, fair enough. Uh, whatever suits you, man. Forms colony, co colonies in perpetually dark places. Use. It's almost like they're bats or something. Yeah. So, uh, so yeah, we have a Zubat now, which is pretty sweet. I don't know how he's going to... I guess he has leech life, so if you need a someone up against a, a, a something weak against bugs, I suppose. What are you going yeah. for? <laughs> oh <laughs> yes, we can just about fit this in. Repetition. <laughs> Repetition the Zubat. He will be the only nicknamed Pokemon <laughs> in this playthrough. And pray tell, why are you calling him Repetition? <laughs> because I'm pretty sure we'll see him at least one more time. Okay, fair enough. Right. Um, Although I feel like uh, you're gonna, like, this is like an English majors team. It's just like, go, repetition. Okay, come back, repetition. Go, criticism. <laughs> go, assonance. <laughs> <laughs> go, alliteration. <laughs> oh, a Pikachu. Hey, hello there. Uh, sorry, is that farting? Huh? Is that farting? Is um, this the lines coming out of what? Well, it's, it's it has it. The Pikachu hasn't been washed in years. It's like seriously stinking. Well, I mean, working for twenty years does. Yeah, do that. it does that to you, man. Especially when you're not like been washed. Ooh, very nice of burn. Oh, well, you got burned. And. All right. So that's interesting. It seems to have been kind of updated with gold and silver mechanics. Where yeah, but this. How, how do you mean? Where special where attack and special attack were properly split because mm -hmm. I noticed just their growl wasn't really lowering my damage at all yes uh, it does have a it does have a special stat but it doesn't have a special attack and defense as you can see it still has that oh yeah yeah so it's, it's kind of um, 
I think the special does still classify as a special attack. But I'm if I'm almost I can't remember how the special defense worked in this. Aha, there's a Clefairy. Clefairy. Now, the thing fun fact about Clefairy, um as we know in the uh, new generation games, it is a fairy type. But in this game, it is not a fairy type, but it is a new type. So maybe if you catch a Clefairy, you'll find out. No, I won't try. You, it's a Pokemon <laughs> battle, so you can't. <laughs> it's pointless doing. Well, I can, but well, that's against the rules. It, oh yeah. Yes, you're not the allowed. Pokemon that. League rules say only one at a time. <laughs> Except for double battles, triple battles, rotation battles, and uh, battle royal. <laughs> oh, oh yeah, battle royal. Yeah. Um. Do you want extra fries with that? They're very. <laughs> Oh, another World Vulpix. Another Vulpix. So I think there's a good chance for Geodude here. Yeah, he should be able to tank it very easily. Oh, for sure. But, um, so yeah, you can see straight out that, um, I think I guess one of the things about this game is it has a do very um, varying Pokedex. You know, this doesn't have just 150 Pokemon. It does have a lot more than that. And more you'll see as the game goes on. Yeah, don't... Don't really tell me, but I I know for a fact just from the starting screen that yeah, we're we'll testing have it. the second sort of set of Pokemon. Yeah, it looks like we have Gen two Pokemon at least. That's all I'll right. say. So Geodude learned defense curl. And um, what I mean, like the well, I like to think that defense curl is him like flexing his arms, like that's that's a defense curl to him. Oh, <laughs> you know, it was like mm. I had to do the motion to try and like on tell you what it was, and you still look confused at me. It's like, what are you doing with your arms? Where, like. It's just a rock with arms on the sides. I would have expected Geodude to just sort of well, he can, he can hug, hug himself, essentially. He can hardly do squats now, can he? <laughs> or lunges. No. <laughs> so, yeah, it, it makes sense. Ooh, I will... Caterpie. I'll yeah. let Bulbasaur take this down. And, and then switch to... Yeah, because it's a bug catcher. And then switch to... Vulpix. Again, why are, like, a youngster, a lass, and a bug catcher in a cave... Maybe they're all just starting off on their own adventure. I don't know, but... I mean, look at what Pokemon Go has done to geeks all over the world. Let's take a drink. <laughs> you were doing so well as two. We Yeah, like, I'll just... In my own headcanon for Pokemon yeah. Brown, Dad explains why people are found in odd locations. Okay, alright. Um, So you're going by the assumption then that... Uh, everyone in this universe, in this game, is already playing Pokemon Go, and yet they still have their own Pokemon. Yeah. Right. Still taking a drink for saying Pokemon. Oh, yep. Yeah. Anywho, so, uh. Alright. But uh, if you think about it, like, people have pets now, and they're catching virtual pets. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I suppose, in a way, it makes sense. But would you, would you have a, a game about a virtual pet for the same pet that you have in real life? Oh, that's... Yeah, see, this is where the problem rises. <laughs> I just blown your fucking toothy. mind, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> just so you know. Yes, yeah, so I'm playing. I'm playing Shiba Inu Go, <laughs> where we catch Shibas all around the world. Oh. How many Shibas do you have in real life? Forty-seven. Then why are you playing a game? I don't know. <laughs> but it's fun. Just, just wait until I'm sixty. I will be that old man with forty-seven Shiba Inus. <laughs> uh, I actually see that on your obituary. It's a Mookie drowned in Shebas. <laughs> oh. Seriously though, in Generation 7, if there is like a Shiba Pokemon, like we're not going to see you again. You will just be on that game forever, just like raising as many Shiba... Sheeb News. That's the name Sheeb, of it. Sheeb News. Sheeb News. And they're all... You know, I, I think it's have been worse Pokemon names Yeah, than and that. it's going like to be like a fairy type Pokemon as well, just to really piss you off. Oh. It pissed me off as well. Fa fairy types better not be in this game. I'm saying nothing. I mean, I, I don't know when the ROM hack was made, so I can't tell. It was myself. a long time ago. Yeah, I think this is like seven or eight years old. Okay, then. But of course, this is a this is part of a new series that we hope we'd be trying doing. Uh, is I guess it's a it's a long mook, as opposed to the uh, fabled Let's Mook series that's already on the channel. Uh, where yeah, we'll have a look at um, some uh, ROM hack games and see how they hold up. See what we think of them, basically, in comparison to the uh, to the main series. What it does good, what it does bad, and uh, does it hold up? Yeah, okay, I'm gonna go down this. Uh, now it now it's starting. Now it's beginning. Repetition. <laughs> Repetition. Your brother is here. <laughs> I 
Billy, let's check. No. Yeah, he no. We're going to be here all fucking day on. if you do that. <laughs> <laughs> Go up against something that's weak to bug, at least. Okay, he's down now. 